Hello again, everybody. It's been a long time since I uploaded a video. I want to thank you all for 1 million subscribers. I want to take you back to that moment where I hit a million subscribers and then where I unboxed the YouTube gold play button that I received for reaching 1 million subscribers. And then I'm going to come back, show you this really amazing card trick and have a special prize giveaway. Okay, so check this out. On October 17th, 2008, I opened a YouTube channel using my dog's names Missy and Magic and my wedding anniversary August 22nd to create the channel named MissMag822. And I took my cell phone and uploaded a 30 second video of a hermit crab changing shells. Two months later I uploaded my first card trick and then it became an obsession. I never in my wildest dreams could have imagined that this day would come. I remember when I reached 100,000 subscribers thinking, I hope I reach a million subscribers before I die. And I'm a few moments away from reaching this incredible milestone. 999,999, one subscriber away. One million subscribers! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So after waiting three months, today in the mail, I got a package. And I think this is the one million subscriber golden play button from YouTube. Whoa! Oh, look at this. This is really cool. It says, let's see, it says, you're bigger than Vancouver, you're bigger than Venice, you're even bigger than Las Vegas, one million subscribers, maybe you've imagined that day for a long time, or maybe you never thought you'd grow so big. Either way, not much can match the satisfaction of finding out that your creativity, that your ideas, that your voice speaks to one million people across the globe. We know that being able to touch the lives of so many people is reward enough, but we're incredibly proud of all you've done so we hope you'll accept this Gold Creator Award as a token of our esteem. With your track record, we suspect you'll only keep growing, and we can't wait to see you reach the next milestone. 10 million subscribers. It may seem far away, but remember the days when you were psyched to have a thousand? You've amazed us. Keep daring, keep dreaming big, and keep creating. You're the inspiration for everything we do. Sincerely, Susan Wojcicki, 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 CEO, YouTube. Now let's check it out. Here it is. Wow. Miss Maggie 22. Congratulations on passing 1 million subscribers. Okay, so this is one of my all-time favorite card tricks. I did this back in June of 2011. So this is a revised version. There was some confusion in the way that trick was to be performed, so I'm going to show it to you again, do a tutorial right now, and you guys can see how it works. So you're going to take out the Ace of Hearts, Two of Hearts, Three of Hearts, Four of Hearts, Five of Hearts, or of any suit, and these will be your five key cards, and they go on top of the deck. You're going to gather five people, you're going to have them sit, and you're going to remember Alex is one, Brittany is two, Charlie is three, Danielle is four, and Evan is five, and that's how they're going to get dealt the cards. You can give the cards a little shuffle as long as you maintain the cards on top, and now you're going to deal them five cards each. So again, Alex gets the ace, Brittany gets the two, Charlie gets the three, Danielle gets the four, Evan gets the five, and now you can go through and continue dealing the remainder of the five cards to each one of your spectators. Now you don't need the rest of the deck. So now you're going to tell them to mix their cards. So you tell Alex to mix, you tell Brittany to mix, Charlie to mix, Danielle to mix, everybody mix up your cards. There's no way I could possibly know what your cards are or what cards you're going to think of. So now I want each one of you to think of a card and remember it. So now Alex turns over his cards. We're remembering Alex is the Ace of Hearts, but Alex is going to remember, let's say, the King of Hearts. So Alex remembers the King of Hearts, and we'll put down a K and a heart. Now Brittany, we're remembering Brittany is the Two of Hearts. So Brittany, let's say Brittany remembers the Joker. So Brittany puts down the cards, and 
she mixes them up and remembers the Joker. Charlie we're remembering is the Three of Hearts. Let's say Charlie remembers the Three of Hearts as his card. So we'll put down the Three of Hearts right over here, and that's the card that Charlie remembered. Danielle turns over the cards. And let's say Danielle remembers the Jack of Diamonds. So Danielle remembers the Jack of Diamonds. Oh, that's a lame diamond. Okay, and Evan turns over. We know Evan is the Five of Hearts, and let's say that Evan remembers the, let's say Evan remembers the King of Diamonds. So put down the King of Diamonds. So now you say there's no possible way I could know what card you're thinking of. So mix up your cards again. Mix up the cards again, and now whoever would like to hand me back their stack, so Danielle hands you back her stack of cards, then Alex, then Evan, then Charlie, then Brittany. You're going to take the cards and you're going to deal them out. So let's say we go two, three, four, one, five. Now we can go five, four, three, one, two. We can go two, three, five, four, one, one, three, five, four, two, and four, two, five, three, one. So everything is all mixed up. We could stack them again any way we want. And now we'll give the cards, we'll let one of the spectators give the cards a cut and complete the cut. So now we turn the cards over and we're gonna just push off five cards, set them right here, push off the next five cards, set them here, push off the next five cards, set them right here, push off the next five cards, set them right here, and push off the last five cards. We're going to go to spectator number one, Alex. We know Alex is the Ace of Hearts, so all we're looking for is the Ace of Hearts. We see the Ace of Hearts is the bottom card on this pile right over here. So we ask Alex, do you see your card? Now Alex is remembering the King of Hearts, and Alex sees the King of Hearts right over here. So Alex says, yes, what pile is your card in, Alex? Alex points to this pile right over here, and we know because the Ace of Hearts is the bottom card on this pile, so we know that Alex was thinking of the King of Hearts. So now it's a little bit of showmanship. You could say, Alex, you seem like a really nice guy, you're very generous, you have a big heart, and for some reason I think you thought of the King of Hearts. And Alex will be amazed. You move on to Brittany. You say to Brittany, okay, Brittany, what pile do you see your card in? Now you're looking for the two of hearts because you know Brittany was the two. You see the two of hearts right here. It's the second card down from the top. Brittany was rem remembering the Joker. Here's the Joker right here. Brittany says her card is in this pile. You know that it's the second card down from the top. So right away, you know that Brittany's card is the Joker. So now you say, all right, Brittany, let me think. You know what? There's always one in every crowd. And for some reason, Brittany, I think you chose the Joker. And then she'll be amazed. Now you go to Charlie. Charlie, you know, is the Three of Hearts. So you say to Charlie, where is your card? Charlie is looking for the Three of Hearts, and so are you, because Charlie's the third person. So as soon as Charlie tells you his card is in this pile, and you see the Three of Hearts, you know that Charlie's card was the Three of Hearts. So you can come up with whatever story you want for Charlie, and say, Charlie, I think your card is the Three of Hearts and then Charlie will be amazed. Now you go to Danielle. You're looking for the Four of Hearts. The Four of Hearts is the top card on this pile. Danielle is looking for the Jack of Diamonds. Danielle sees her card in this pile. She says, my card is in this pile. You say, okay, let me think. Well, Danielle, I'm not saying you're materialistic, but you would like to find a man that does have money. I think you would have chosen the Jack of Diamonds. And now you go last to Evan. You're remembering the Five of Hearts. You see it's right over here. You ask Evan what pile his card is in, and he sees the King of Diamonds. The card he remembered is all the way over here. You know that his card is second up from the bottom because the five is second up from the bottom. He tells you his card is in this pile. And once again, you can have fun with it. You could say, all right, you just want to be a rich man also, Evan. And for some reason, you selected the King of Diamonds. And then all five of them are amazed that you selected their cards correctly. They have no idea how you did it because the cards were mixed up. They didn't tell anybody. They didn't write it down. And people will be truly blown away. Now let me show you another way of how this trick can be explained. Okay, here's an easier way of me trying to explain this. I'm going to just be using the backs of the cards. We have five red back cards, 
and these will represent spectator number one's cards. Five blue back cards, these will represent spectator number two. Five green back cards, they'll represent spectator number three. Five turquoise, they'll represent spectator number four. And five purple will represent spectator number five. The cards with the stickers on them are my key cards. Ace of hearts, two of hearts, three of hearts, four of hearts, five of hearts. Spectator number one mixes the cards. Spectator number two mixes the cards. Spectator number three mixes them. Spectator number four mixes them. And five. Now they hand them back to us. One, two, three, four, and five. We go one, two, five, four, three. Four, two, five, three, one. One, two, five, four, three. Two, four, three, five, one, and one, five, four, three, two, and then we can stack them again any way we like. And now the really cool thing is you can cut the cards, give them complete cuts as many times as you like. You can have the spectators cut the cards, and now you just spread them out, and you're going to have five different colors in each stack. So. We have one, two, three, four, and five. And we're looking for our key card. So there's number one. So we ask spectator number one. We know spectator number one is red. What pile is your card in? Well, you can see there's one red card in every pile. If they pick this pile, our key card, and there's one red card in every other pile. With the number two, the Number two card, the blue card, right here. And there's only one blue card in each pile. So whatever pile they point to, we know the position of the card by knowing the position of our key card. And that's the way it works with all five cards. I don't know if you needed to see this. It's a little more colorful. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I love this. It always gets great reactions. Now on to the deck giveaway. This time I'm giving away 12 decks of bicycle playing cards, four turquoise, four green, two invisible decks, and two bicycle stripper decks. All you have to do is leave a comment below, like the video, and I'll be announcing the winners in my next video. Getting that 1 million subscriber gold play button has really motivated me. I'm psyched to start uploading again. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love you all. That's it. I'll see you next time.